Want to know how to build the open mesh floor made by Thorns? Then watch this video. Hello, I'm Griff Free, so welcome to Gwyn and Griff Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to build the mesh floor made by Thorns. So let's get straight into it. So, it comes neatly packed. And it even comes with some instructions, so that's great. So, first thing you do put all the bits that look the same together so those two at one end that's going to be the back that's going to be the front and that's going to be the runners hold this bit of plastic in so you can count the mites when you treat them for the roller uh, watch yourself on the mesh very very sharp around the edges so we don't need that for a bit I'll put that there same with these now comes with a pack of nails and some pins that's all I'm going to use on the floor um, a lot of people would say you know you want to screw them in well I've got some screws and an impact driver I'm going to show you how to use the nails or if you prefer how to use the screws but um, you know I've been keeping beads almost 10 years pretty much the first 30 hives that I bought were from Thorns or Mazemo and that's all I used was the pack of nails that they gave and back then you never used to have a little pot of glue that came with the set now when you're buying a full hive system off them you get a pot of glue with them which is great otherwise I'd use my own glue but like I said, the first early hives that I built didn't use glue at all, just these nails and those hives still got bees in them, so they're not to worry if you're going to use these, they're more than adequate enough. And uh, going off a company like Thorns, they've been keeping bees for a long time, they've been selling bee equipment for a long time, they are experts and if these nails weren't good enough, they wouldn't be supplying them with a the hive, simple as that. So. We've got all the bits there and put that in one pile over there. So the first job, got this bit here and there's a slot there for the mesh. These should be pretty square so it doesn't matter which side of the mesh you use. Now once it's like that, this bigger piece we need to go on the bottom there that's going to fit in like so so that's going to be the entrance and this piece then will go in the back and that's roughly how that's going to look like when it's finished now once you've got that in place you don't need the instructions you need to screw or nail this together so if we start on this end the big piece just hold that flush there so it's square with both sides now if you were just using the nails that came with this I'm going to show you how to use just nails without pre-drilling so get the nail that nail is sharp Hit the nail so that nail isn't as sharp anymore because when you put the sharp nail into wood sometimes that can split but once you blunt it up 
it's less likely to split. So we just line that up roughly. A couple of taps. It is always better to pre-drill, but uh, I'm just going to prove a point that you don't need to pre-drill it. Now that's gone in perfect. No splits or anything. Spin that down and we'll do the same on the other side. And hold that flush. Now, by right, I forgot to do it there. It's always better to put a bit of glue in with these. Now we don't have to, but I like to. Just got carried away there on the first nail. But no matter, I'll be able to do that again now I'll show you a little trick if you forget to put the nail in. Put the glue in before the nail. So all you need just a little drop in the middle. When you put the pressure on, that's just gonna expand out. So we'll slide this back in again. And hold that flush. And I might pre-drill this one. Drill in a little bit. And that there is perfect. Absolutely spot on. Now back to the other side. I forgot to put the glue in. Not to worry, because I only put one nail in here. That's going to be able to turn. Make that like that. And we just put a bit of glue over there. That's a good trick because when you build loads of these in one go, it's easy to forget to do things. Now, since I've got the screw and everything out there, if you don't want to use these nails, that's fine. When you're using a screw, Pre-drill is pretty much uh, what you've got to do it really. So we just pre-drill that down. We got some nice wood screws, and you just screw that in. Perfect. The screw does hold better than the nail. But it's up to you, you know. If I'm in a rush and these nails are there, I'm just going to use those nails just because just I got them and I hate seeing stuff going to waste. But if you're a key DIYer, then use the screws. So, not there. Uh, we almost finished this now. Back down there. Square it up. That, that's perfect. And that little piece is going to fit in there. So, before we forget, we glue both ends. Put a little bit there, just enough. Same that side, just enough. Hold that square. I don't think I'm going to pre drill here, I'm just going to drop it in. Perfect. And the same again this side. 
Now the big argument between nails and screws, as long as you're using glue, it doesn't really matter. So once the glue bonds, that's going to be stronger than the actual wood itself. So a lot of capitalists these days, they don't bother with screws or nails, they just rely on clamps and glue, and uh, that's all they use. There you have it. So that's the floor, that's solid. You just got to tack the mesh down. Make sure there's nothing on the on the back and there's no mesh sticking out. A little bit bent there, just bend that back. Good, so there's nothing sticking out there. It's gonna catch your fingers on the back. And as simple as you've got these drawing pins and you just push it in to the wood. No need to go too lally. They supply more than enough. I tend to put just four on the front here. If there is knots in the wood, avoid them because you're not going to get the pin into the wood. Something like that. And then the same on the back here. Like that. Now then, unless you want to put the Varora counter in, this floor is finished, it's ready to go painting or oiling. Because this is cedar, you don't really have to paint to oil it, but uh, I always recommend you do get that little bit extra out of the wood if you do. So, let's put the Varora counter in. So this can only go one way, you put the runner here, plastic, is going to sit underneath. So double check, that's the entrance, so that piece needs to go down like that. I tend to go flush with the bottom, just makes everything a bit easier. You can keep it up, up a bit more if you want to keep it tighter to the floor. Just a couple of mils off the bottom, it's probably the best. So, I'll start this off and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So you just put the rail in here, keep the gap the same all the way up and knock in the gold screws in the already pre-drilled holes. Really easy. So if you do the two ends first, get that roughly square, that's looking good. Push the nail in. Finish it off. That's good. Now just to speed this video up, I'm not going to film myself fitting the extra three nails in there. But make sure you do, if you're doing this yourself. And hit that in. And that's it, there you have it, open mesh floor made by Thorns, value for money, very very good, um, the wood quality is very good, if you're thinking of buying a timber hive, uh, I would highly recommend using Thorns, um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, uh, they probably don't know I exist, but uh, I do buy a lot of kit with Thorns, and, um, you know, I've had them for t almost 10 years and I found them to be really really good. Now that's the whole that's the whole idea of that. That slides in the back, closes the floor up, so you put any varora treatment in, the mites fall through the mesh, they die on this bit of plastic. So if you want to see what your mite top is, pull that out and count the mites. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this content and you want to want to watch more, please subscribe to my channel. I put a new video out every week and make sure you press the bell button so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.